The 1950s were a charming decade, a time where everything seemed so simple. There was always something fun to do, and if you were bored, you could just walk on over to your friend's house and see what they were up to. You just had to make sure you were home by the time the streetlights came on. If you were lucky enough to grow up during this period, you will most likely remember these unique moments that are quintessential 1950s. Growing up in this decade meant spending a lot of time outside, riding bikes, playing sports, street games, and climbing trees. Do you remember clipping a baseball card to the spokes of your bike so it would purr as you sped down your block? You grew up with toys that sparked creativity and imagination. You appreciated simple toys like hula hoops, Lincoln logs, Play-Doh, and Mr. Potato Head. Board games like Scrabble, Yahtzee, and Sorry were also popular during this time. Kids also enjoyed playing the card game Old Maid. You would even have milk delivered right to your door. The milkman may have had a horse and cart, and you would hear the clip-clop of his horse and the clink of the bottles on the neighbor's doorsteps as he made his way down your street. On occasion, you may have even gotten chocolate milk as a treat. A lunch staple of the time was the fluffernutter sandwich. The sandwich was made with two slices of bread layered with peanut butter and marshmallow fluff. Sometimes the sandwich even included a sliced up banana. Every Sunday night, you flipped on your parents' brand new black and white TV, cozied up on the couch with your family, and settled in for an hour of entertainment, watching The Ed Sullivan Show. Some other popular shows were I Love Lucy, Howdy Doody, and Gunsmoke. TV channels used to actually sign off at the end of every night. Some would even close programming by playing the Star Spangled Banner. The best way to see movies at the time were drive-in movies. It was the perfect family outing. Your family would park their car, grab a speaker or tune in on the radio, and enjoy movies all summer long. Another summer favorite was hearing the ice cream truck jingle coming down the road, which was more than likely a good humor ice cream truck. Neighborhood kids would keep an ear out for the songs and sounds of the ice cream man so they could go ask for money from mom. Do you remember pretending to smoke those fake candy cigarettes and buying fake coconut tobacco? Charleston Chews, Bazooka Gum, Necco Wafers, Bitto Honey, Atomic Fireballs, Root Beer Barrels, and Candy Buttons were other popular candies of the 1950s, and most only cost a penny. Most everyone had classic black and white saddle shoes. And of course, you kept them so well shined you could practically see your reflection in them. Saddle shoes were a perfect accessory to poodle skirts, but also looked good with jeans. The poodle skirt was a colorful, full, swingy skirt that typically hit just below the knee. It was commonly made of felt fabric and held an image of a poodle, hence the name. A notable place to hang out with your friends or to take a date on a Friday night was your local soda fountain. These were counter-style restaurants that served soft drinks and ice cream and often had a jukebox in the corner. The typical high school dance saw teens removing their shoes and dancing in their socks to protect the gymnasium floor. Nicknamed Sock Hops, these dances gave way to a number of popular dances, including the hand jive, the stroll, the box step, and most famously, the twist. s and green stamps were grocery stamps that were used as a reward system for shopping at certain stores. Families would collect the stamps, which ranged in value from 1 to 50 points, and they placed them in a booklet. Once that booklet was full, 
It could be redeemed for products from their catalogs or picked up at one of their locations. Rotary phones were the phones of the time. You had just one, and it may have been a party line shared with a neighbor. You'd have different numbers, but if you picked up and they were talking, you'd just have to wait to make your call. If you wanted to reach a business or acquaintance, flipping through a thick stack of phone book pages was your best bet. Marilyn Monroe was the most glamorous girl you'd ever seen. From her auburn waves to her curvy shape, she was 50s perfection. Elvis Presley, on the other hand, helped start the rock craze, and his pompadour hair was iconic. While in school, paper copies were made using mimeographs. Not only did it create a unique purple ink, but it also had a unique smell to it that most everyone enjoyed. Long before ellipticals were invented, women wrapped various body parts around a belt that promised to jiggle their fat right off. It didn't work, and they quickly lost their appeal by the end of the decade. Rainy days were prime time for some reading time when comics went 3D in the 1950s. The Mighty Mouse comic book even came with a pair of space goggles. Children loved the effect of putting on these glasses to discover a magical world growing from the book's pages. Covering your Christmas tree in tinsel was a happy tradition. There's something about the tinseled tree, old train car toys, and the wooden sleds of the time that can really bring you back. If you grew up during the 50s, many of these things should be familiar to you and help jog your memory. What are some other things you remember that were special about the 1950s? Share your memories down in the comments. As always, thank you so much for watching.